There are many blogs you can read on making student products authentic. And if you see down below here, you'll see links to the blogs. We're sharing this link with you here. In particular, this blog in which John Larmer from the Buck Institute of Education shares his thoughts on what it takes for a project to be authentic is really particularly interesting for novice PBL practitioners. John Larmer explains and describes to us a sliding scale of authenticity. Depending on where you are in your educational setting and your PBL journey, you might want to simulate work done in the real world. If you take a look there in the middle row, somewhat authentic means that students are doing work that simulates what happens in the world outside of school. In a project that is somewhat authentic, students could play the role of food critics, architects, nutritionists, or website designers who are placed in a scenario that reflects what might actually occur in the real world. Or students could create products that are the kind of products people use. In the World Language Classroom, we encourage you to find a true use for student work, but we recognize this cannot always be the case. We also want to design projects where students will do work that is real to them or the work has a direct impact on their lives. The real world, as John notes, could still be school, which is a very real place for students. In these projects, students might advocate for a cause, take an action to improve the community, perform a service for someone, etc. We can ask ourselves, what do real people do on the job and what are the corresponding products they create in the workplace? Consider the professionals we interact with on a needs or daily basis. Think of how their profession relates to authentic tasks and problems. For example, a chef is not going to prepare a brochure for his food patrons, but rather plan menus, present a meal. A writer would write a screenplay for a director. An architect makes plans for a client. A healthcare worker gives medical advice to patients. Citizens would write blogs to the general media or to mobilize peers or community members. A consultant gives advice on a specialized topic to a very specialized audience. I hope you're beginning to see the connection between the product that students create and the purpose that it serves for an authentic audience. At the following link, there is a list of authentic products that you may find useful when designing your projects.